Murray Knapp, and we're talking about the miracle on 34th Street. Everybody saw the Macy's Day Parade, and it was on, it comes down to 34th Street. 17 times 2 is 34. 17 is the number of the universe. Let's talk about octaves in music and how you can predict the S&P 500 futures based upon time and price. Well, let's start on October the 9th or October the 10th, 2011. And the S&P 500 features was at 1156.25. That's 1,000 plus 156.25. 156.25 is 164th of 10,000. If you go back to 1875 BC and you go to the reign of the Pharaoh, Akhenaten, Akhenaten reigned 17 years. Akhenaten knew the lost truth and the lost sound, which was 156.25. Is it ironic or is it luck or is it coincidence that the S&P 500 on October the 10th was at 1,100, that's 1156.25. And on 34th Street at the Macy, Macy's Day Parade, the S&P 500 was at 1156.25, the same number. So the S&P 500 went through 34 charts, and what we have for you today is 34 charts, and we set the charts to an octave. The software automatically sets the octave for you. You don't have to figure it out. The Jordanaires sang for 25 years for Elvis. Neil Matthews was with the Jordanaires in 1954. Neil Matthews converted from the Roman numeral from 1875 BC for music to the number one for the key of C and seven for the key of D and four for the key of F. Our software automatically sets the key for you. So we'll have 34 charts for you to look at and those 34 charts from October the 10th to November 25th for the 34th Street Parade, the miracle, you will see that there were a hundred reverses, long and short, off the key of C and the key of B, automatically set for you by the Murray Mass software without you having to do anything. And it's intraday, day trading charts, a hundred winners. So let's take a look at these and then let's respond by getting back to Murray Mass. Thank you.